What's up, everybody? My name is Matt. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be looking at three more Solana projects you guys might want to look at. Now, in this video, I'm going to be trying to show you guys one smaller tier project, one medium tier project, and one larger tier project. Now, of course, if a particular project is paying me to talk about them, I let you know. In this particular video, none of the three projects are paying me. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So the first project I wanted to show you guys is something called Ape Fight Club. Now, again, when we look at small projects like this, we are essentially being given a choice. We are given the choice of whether or not we want to take a risk on the chance that projects like this develop. Now, what I like about Ape Fight Club is that they did sell out in one minute, but more importantly, I like the fact that there is literally a tiny non-existent supply. There are only 222 um, of these Ape Fight Club NFTs, and that to me is huge. I mean, this is a very, very small supply that is still very cheap. With only 37 listed, it would take the right tweet or the right Discord uh, communication from someone to help bring this project to the forefront. And when I talk about small projects like this, um, a lot of people don't seem to understand where I'm coming from. Ultimately, when you see a project like this that is very, very small, it's a matter of you becoming an active community member. Can you look at a project like this and make a meaningful difference in their community in some way? Because you actually can. If there's something that has a supply of 100 or 200, you could go and talk to a few people and boom, you own a lot of the supply. It's like a collection of fine art. It's the exact same thing. Now, obviously, I'm not comparing NFTs to Picassos per se, but ultimately, it is kind of the same thing. You could go if you wanted to and be a meaningful community member in the Discord of any project you want, especially a project like this that has such a tiny supply. So again, maybe something to think about. I did pick up a couple of these because I feel like they may in the future have a good run. They seem to have some good management on their Twitter. They seem to be tweeting a little bit more than maybe the average account that has such a small floor price. So ultimately, that is kind of what I'm looking for. Now, before we go any further, guys, make sure to check out my Patreon down below in the description. If you guys would like access to behind the scenes content, exclusive roles in my Discord, and of course, my NFT watch list, Matt's NFT Dojo, and so much more. To be honest with you guys, I think it's an absolute steal for only $10 a month. And if you guys go over there, you can find exactly calls like this that have made me and my patrons a lot of money in the past. Now, of course, not every single call is going to be profitable, but I have made more than I have lost. And that is what I try to teach you over on my Patreon. I think you guys will love it. Now, the next project we're going to look at here is something called Board Ape Solana Club. Now, I talked about these guys in a previous video, but in that previous video, they were at a floor of three. And if you guys would have been on my Patreon, you guys would have seen my buy alert for that, letting you guys know that, yeah, I just snagged a couple of these up with a floor of three, and I bought another one for 4.5. And this is probably the best decision I think I've ever made. It's up there because Board Ape Solana Club right now has a floor of around 15. Now, I was thinking about whether or not I would like to buy into this again. I don't know if I feel comfortable spending this much right now. It's a lot, but I do believe it is possible. It's conceivably possible that these guys could actually be the next board ape of Solana. We've always wondered whether or not it would be Soul Punks, whether or not it would be BASC or what it would be, but I think that Board Ape Solana Club does have the potential to be another Solana version of the Ethereum port. Now, this for some reason has become very controversial on Twitter because, oh, you're you're copying Ethereum. Look, I'm not here to settle that or debate that. I'm here to make money. That's what I care about. And once you lose that emotional attachment from projects like that, I feel like you are more successful. So with something like this, the fact that they seem to be controversial for whatever reason has made them more popular. And it may actually be worth considering uh, looking at one of these on a dip because yesterday the floor was around 17 right now the floor here is around 15 so maybe a good time to buy right now on this dip you know again it is a lot it is definitely a higher tier project right now but i could easily see this hitting a floor of 100 soul in the future and also hitting a floor of five soul so it could go either way but definitely might be worth looking at if you're someone who likes to survey communities you can maybe go into their discord see what vibes you're getting check out their twitter uh do your research on this one of course as always but uh, it might be worth taking a look at. Now, the next project here, for whatever reason, has become a Matt blockchain community kind of thing. Um, but this is Pocket Turtles. I mentioned these guys in a previous video when the floor was only 0.2. And for whatever reason, the video blew up and people went and started buying these. But that is what I was telling you guys earlier about how you could make a meaningful difference in a community. If you're an influencer, if you're a YouTuber, TikToker, if you're a Discord moderator, 
if you're a Twitter user, there's so much you could do in small communities like this, and that's really where the money is, being a good community member. That's the biggest tip I could um, ever express. But with something like Pocket Turtles like this, um, again, I like them a lot. I have talked to the owner, the creator of these Pocket Turtles. I think they're cute. I like them. And there's really only 41 listed. So, you know, if you wanted to go on here and take a look at these, you know, you could potentially, say, snag one for one Solana. And if you made the right moves and talked to the right people in Discord and led the right promotional campaign of sorts, you could eventually bring that to maybe a floor of two. And that would be a very easy flip. I know people who did make very easy flips on this. And again, same thing. It's all about being a good community member. But with something like this, I like the art. I think it's it's very simple. It's cute. The Twitter here has actually a surprisingly decent um, amount of activity for only 150 followers. And that is really what I like. So I do look for projects like this. Again, it's kind of cool with something like this that my community has kind of gravitated towards this for whatever reason. But this is, again, another very, very low tier project that is really cheap that you could potentially get into. And if you make the right moves as a Discord mod or member of their community, uh, you could potentially help bring that floor price up. And this is really the way I've gen generally kind of shifted um, when I view NFT floors. What NFT floors really are, guys, is the bottom price that someone is willing to pay to gain access to a collection of art. That's ultimately what it is. And again, when you look at a project that has a tiny, tiny supply, you could very well, with talking to the right people, agree on raising a floor to a certain price and potentially make it happen. And for people who say, oh, that, that's weird, that doesn't seem right, that's been done with art for years and years and years. That's been done for you know, hundreds of years with the fine art industry. You know, you pick an art collection. Someone says, hey, this Andy Warhol's worth this a lot of money. Um, oh, I agree. This Andy Warhol's worth this amount of money. And that's what's happened with art over time as well. So one of the best NFT strategies that I've been following that I think, you know, a lot of people aren't really getting is that you can actually change the, the floor price on some of these projects if you are a good member of their community. If you help these projects grow in stature, grow in size, grow in credibility, and I genuinely do think that can be done. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys learned something. If you guys did, make sure to join the Patreon down below in the description, guys. We just hit 150 Patreon uh, subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. I cannot thank you guys enough. You guys have absolutely changed my life. It is incredible to see. So um, again, if you guys would like to access Patreon down below, you guys will get access to my NFT watch list, so much more exclusive roles in the Discord, Matt's NFT Dojo, and tons of other awesome stuff down there, including group coaching, which is brand new for the Emerald role. So if you guys enjoyed, Drop a like, subscribe. See you all in the next one. Peace.